Quick video, high thermostat. Uh, we fit quite a few of these, so I've been meaning to do a video for ages, never got around to it, and I have half an hour spare, so why not? Okay, hive stat. This is the uh, the hive active heating. It's boiler plus compliant, which means it, it, we're allowed to fit the thing in on new installs. Um, batteries pop in the back. There's a little back plate on here, which probably attached to your wall, or you may just carry a thing around. You just flick it, and the stat will come off. It's got obviously got a glass finish. Looks quite modern. People seem to like it. British gas product, which means lots of independent installers don't like it because it's British gas. But you know, I'll see past that. Um, couple of different modes for you. I'll show you the basics, what you are most likely to use it for. Okay, first thing to notice, manual. That means we're in manual mode, which means that we can just adjust it as we wish. So you can turn it up. And if I turn it up, I've just turned my bow click. The target temperature is 23.5 and it will run until it reaches around that temperature. There is a bit of a tolerance in them, but around that temperature, which is very warm, too warm for most people, but you know. Um, yep, yeah, that's it. As you can see, there's a, a little icon there saying the boiler's on. And if I turn him down, when the, when the stat knocks on and off again, you'll see that goes off. So I've just heard my boiler click off, so I know that's off now. And in a few moments, you'll see that little icon will disappear, which signifies that the boiler is off. Okay, so manual mode is really easily. You can see you just turn him up and down to your heart's concern. You're in control, real time, off you go, no issues. So you, you turn it, you press the knob, and you're away. Manual mode. Now, if you press this center button here, what, what you can do is you'll go into this menu. Uh, which is heat, where you can set your schedule or manual mode or turn the thing off. you got a holiday mode, where you can set the time and date you're going away and time and date you're back. And it, it'll kind of run uh, on frost protection for that period. In other words, you won't be heating your house, it won't follow your schedule. You can turn that on and off. It's really easy. You just literally go through, you input the dates. Once you get the knack of it, it's nothing to it. And then you've got settings which is things like time and date and frost protection, but let's not worry too much about them. So as you remember before, we are in manual mode and we want to turn into a schedule. So you want to, you want the boiler to come on and off automatically um, throughout the day, which coincides with your lifestyle. So assuming you're not using manual, you'd press this button, you'd press the central knob and you can see there, it's got schedule, manual, or off. So if you want it in manual mode, you press manual. If you want it off, you press off. We want schedule, resume, view and edit, or start over. So if you've had it in manual mode, you now want to move to schedule, you go on resume, press, and then it would follow your schedule. If you want to view and edit, then you go into that section. If you want to start over, that will obviously start it from the, uh, from the basics and you just go through it again from probably factory preset. Okay, so when you press view and edit to set up your first schedule, you're greeted with the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's go with Monday, shall we? So here we are on Monday and this is what the boiler is doing on Monday. I don't know how clear that is on camera, but it's coming on at 6.30 off at 8.15. So if I want to adjust that, I just press my button you can see the time's currently flashing and I can just move this knob back and forth to a time that I want. So let's say 6 a.m. And I want the house to rise to about 20 degrees. But we can adjust it just by moving the knob back and forth. But we'll stick him on 20. And then what time do you want it to move on to the next slot? Don't think about it as an on, off, on, off. Oh, technically it is, but what time you want it to move to the next slot? Because you may have it at 8.30 moving to whatever time you want. But we'll say 8.30. You may have it slightly warmer at 8.30. Who knows? So it could be, um, you can have these temperatures at whatever time you want. Boom. So I'll run through like an evening slot. So if you knew you were coming back from work at five o'clock or if you knew you're coming back at yeah let's say five 
and you wanted the temperature up at 20 degrees and you wanted it on until you went to bed bang so it's really easy to do it's really quite self-explanatory once you get in here and start playing with it you'll see what i mean but you just adjust the time and you adjust the temperature and that's it i hope that kind of makes sense once you're done you click tick would you like to copy Monday to other days? You may do, you may not. We'll click yes. For the purpose of this, right? I do the same thing on Mondays and Thursdays. And whatever other day you want to copy it to. So tick that. Monday schedule has been copied to Thursday and Saturday. So now we know that on Monday, Thursday and Saturday schedule is the same. Although you can obviously adjust this. You just go back into view and edit. And you're done. Um... You can set your own schedule, you can set the times, you can set the temperature, and it should all just kick in if it's been set up right. If you've got a Hive Hub, then obviously you can do it from your phone as well. Um, if you don't like playing with this thing, often easier on your phone, isn't it? Um, so, heat, schedule, resume. So what you'll see now is that we are in manual mode. If I wanted to go on to my schedule, I'd do that, tick. And you'll see at the top corner, it's got SCH, which is short for schedule. So it's following the schedule we've set for today. Um, best thing to do is have a play with it. I always tell customers, you know, have a play. If there's any questions, and get in touch. But the majority of this stuff is just getting used to a new layout, to be honest. Um, it's much better than the old systems. Um, there's other functions on here, such as holiday mode where if you're going away, you can kind of, it will stop the schedule that you're on, it'll kick it back in when you're back. So you can set a time and a date when you're going away. Oh, Jesus, it's Valentine's Day. Ah, in trouble. Um, so let's pretend I'm going away tomorrow. 15th of Feb. And I want it to start at 18 or 17. Um, 17.02. That's my holiday start date. Obviously, you can adjust this to whatever you want. And I'm coming back on the 22nd of Feb at 19.01. And that's my holiday end date. Nice and easy. And what it'll do then is it will, it basically turns on frost protection. Make sure you've got no burst pipes or anything like that will really help um, with the running of the boiler. Um, excuse that chair. Um, nice and easy so if you wanted to get rid of that holiday um you could just literally just go back to your start and then you can just override it anyway using that or you can go back into holiday mode and cancel it off another thing this stat has settings that's your date and time easy go in turn the knob and you can adjust the date and time i guess useful for when the clocks go back or forward uh, frost temperature, leave it on about 7 degrees and you're fine there. Um, you've also got a child lock, which I'll show you in a second, and language, but I guess if you're watching this video, then you probably speak English. Uh, child lock, good for when little fingers get hold of it, especially teenagers, if you've got any. Um, if you press the back button and the tick at the same time for about 3 seconds... And what should happen is in the top right hand corner, boom, it says locked. And if you press it again for about three seconds, it will undo the lock and you're back. So you can adjust it. Good for stopping kids getting all the thing. And that's about your lot with this. It's quite easy to do. It's really quite self-explanatory, but some people might struggle with it. I thought a visual explanation would be better than just spending five minutes on their sofa. Uh, as I say, we quick pick quite a few of these, fit quite a few of these. Um, there's loads of information online. And at worst, you can always call your installer back. If I've done it, then feel free to give me a bell. Um, or call Hive. Hive are really useful. They've got decent technical help if you're really, really, really struggling. But I dare say there's lots of videos like this knocking around. This is solely aimed at my customers. I I hope that helps. And if you need me, you've probably got my number. Um, if you haven't, just Google CombiSir and our number comes up there on the website. Have a good day.